categories at the Grammys, right? And put in pop. Hotline Bling, however, in 2017, won Best Rap Song. Hotline Bling won Best Rap Song and Best Rap Sung Song. Now, let's say, let's say that Let's say that Super Freaky Girl is a pop song. Let's just say that, right? What is Big Energy? If Super Freaky Girl is a pop song, Big Energy. What genre is Big Energy? Why is the goalpost only ever moved when it's Nikki? Well, I'll tell you why. They don't want the people who they have in the industry to have to go up against me. But why? If you're great, if a song is great, you should be able to be put together in the same category. Now, what do you think is going to happen when they start voting on these pop categories? And it's a bunch of, you know, people, white or wherever they're from or older or wherever, and they have to decide between Nicki Minaj and Harry Styles or Nicki Minaj and Adele or Nicki Minaj. Like, that's purposely designed so that Nikki is not in the category that we don't want any competition in. Put her in there so she has more competition and less of a chance to win. Hi, Foxy. I love you, baby. I need you on this album, Fox. But but black women rarely, rarely, even though we're the most powerful uh, group on the planet, a lot of times we don't speak up until it's too late. How you don't see what's happening. Okay. Um, So, again, to reiterate, um, to reiterate, you guys, I got cramps. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, Lord, child. Um, but you know what I mean? Excuse me, Grammy board. Tell us everybody who made this decision. And I noticed it was something weird when a certain person started recently saying out of nowhere, oh, Super Freaky Girl is pop. He's always at the center of something that is happening against me. And he just laughs and loves it, child. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm popping. Um, but, y'all, this shit has got to stop. I will definitely come to sweat your baby, you guys. Um, and shout out, to, shout out to you guys for doing Nikki Nights all over. It's been so successful. I know that's going to become a trend, like everything the barbs do. Um... But, you know, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make it very fucking clear that this is, this is not good.
Hi, you guys. So, Nicki Minaj, um, she created this video, Dear Grammys, or To the Grammys. Um, she was a little upset about her nomination as a pop artist, which she is a pop artist. Um, and so, some people are kind of confused about why she is saying some of the things that she's saying. Um, and so, I, I felt like she probably had a point, so I was kind of looking into that. So, she was saying how MC Hammer also... Um, sampled Rick James Super Freak and she sampled it he won um, the rap category back in 1991 with You Can't Touch This and interestingly enough Mariah Carey was uh, nominated in the pop category and she won for her debut album and so I think that is what she's using as her example of you know, well, Mariah Carey is a pop artist, right? Um, and so I get what she's saying. And I think people get it. They get it. But at the same time, this is my thing. Um, she's been in the industry for as long as she's been there now. And they've been doing that. This is the same system that she's been in where they move people around to honor certain people, right? Or they make sure certain people are the only ones nominated. And so this is the system that you've been in. This is how your career has become what it is. And so now they have decided to move on to someone else, right? And so now it, it sounds like it's a problem. But I get what she's saying. You know, they put her in the pop category, which is going to make it harder for her song to honestly win. And um, obviously they want to give that rap category to someone else. And... Um, I believe Jermaine Dupri is on that Grammy board and Lotto is his ar artist. Um, and so, yeah, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of, of positioning based on who these people want to give these awards to. And I think that is why she's singling out Lotto because she knows that Lotto has those connections. Um, so, yeah, I mean, who's to say if Lotto's going to win? I'm not saying she's going to win. I'm saying she's in a position to win because of her connections and um, people shouldn't be surprised if she do win. I don't know if she's going to win. There, I, you know, I have no clue. Um, and I'm not saying that she is going to win. I'm just saying that obviously she is connected to people on the Grammy board to where they will position her to, to have a good look to win over a Nicki Minaj, right, at this point, um, you know, and at this point, I don't even know why Nicki cares, but I think people, someone else was saying that she's never won a Grammy, so maybe that's what she just, maybe she wants one before she finally decide to move on, but no one should expect a lifetime career, no one has a lifetime career, I don't know any artist that can honestly say that, um, in these modern times right so um i don't know what do you guys think about what she had to say in in the live if you watched it and do you think that and i think that's the reason she was bringing up lotto because she knows a lot of um you know she's a an artist with a machine right with as in jermaine dupree and probably some other individuals at this point she has been around um and she didn't just walk in on her own. Um, she definitely came by way of some other um, people. But um, so I think that is why she's singing it out, singling out Lotto. Because I know people were saying, why her? There's other people in the rap category, but that is why her. That's my you know, opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about all of this. And I don't watch award shows, so I really don't care like that. Um, and I, like I said, I feel like she's in, she understands what's going on. That's why she's calling it out. However, she benefited from the same maneuvering. Excuse me. She benefited from the same type of maneuvering, right? So that's my point let me know what you guys think um and then they were kind of going back and forth on twitter i guess lotto you know felt like why bring me up bring me into it and they had their own things already going so that kind of um was going on the back and forth on twitter 
but you know I don't know I think um I don't know maybe it's hard for Nikki to really come to grips with where she where she is at this point in her career what do you guys think let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video